And welcome back, everyone, to Who Would Win? Today's a birthday Who Would Win from Shadows82. I believe it's Shadows82. Yes, Shadows82, who asked the question months ago, who would win in a fight? Darth Vader or Darth Revan? Now, Darth Revan is canon, but we have not seen a lot of him. We know he does exist in canon. Um, because, like, Knights of the Old Republic, all that stuff, that is not canon uh, material anymore. If it was ever canon to begin with. It's Legends continuity. But, character Darth Revan does exist. The problem is, there isn't really anything to go by in terms of how strong he actually is. So, we will be looking toward the Legends uh, Legends version of Revan. But Darth Vader, do we really need to know about Darth Vader and his story? Summarize, Anakin Skywalker, allegedly the chosen one of the Force, was immaculately born to Shmi Skywalker on the planet of Tatooine. Eventually, he was found by Jedi's Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi, brought before the Jedi Council, eventually agreed to be trained after Qui-Gon's death and trained by Obi-Wan, became an extremely powerful Jedi Knight, but ultimately set, uh, uh, fell in love with a woman, Padme Amidala. Uh, then she ultimately was lost to him and he, as he went to, uh, slowly to the dark side. He was defeated by his master, uh, lost, all, uh, lost all four of his limbs, uh, not at that time, but you know what I mean. He lost one limb to Dooku and then lost the remaining three to Obi-Wan and was burned alive. Only to be put into a, cy a cybernetic life support armor suit, whatever you want to call that, and became the Sith Lord Darth Vader, which for the next 30 some odd years, he was running the galaxy as a feared as a feared Jedi killer. The, the, basically the uh, Emperor's second in command. Uh, and was ultimately the also responsible for bringing down the Sith with the help of Luke. Uh, Luke was able to bring him back to the light side, and in turn, Vader was able to bring, uh, you know, kill Palpatine before losing his life but becoming one with the Force. So yeah, Darth Revan though. Darth Revan's a little bit. Um, Darth Revan existed in the time of the Old Republic. Uh, he fought in many, many different wars, including um, one second here, including. Uh, things like the Mandalorian Wars. Actually, where, let's see here. Where or where is the list of things he? I have a wiki. So yeah, oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, sorry. He so he fought like within the uh, the early uh, you know the fighting the Mandal. He fought the Mandalorians. Uh, he became a Sith Lord ultimately, but then he was ultimately saved. He uh, existed during the time of the. Where is the time frame he existed in? Um. Oh, okay, so, th yeah, it was definitely Old Republic, because he was born 3994 BBY, or for 3,949 years before uh, Rabbit, uh, before the Battle of Yavin. So, yeah, and this is, uh, this this he, this was Old Republic. <laughs> um, and, yeah, he was praised as being a very, as a prodigy in his own right, very, uh, very skilled, very charming, good-looking guy, uh, immense talent in the Force, which he ultimately proved time and time again on the, both the battlefield and among the Sith and Jedi. Both of these guys are exceptional, but now if you're just going to go by the lore, lore theoretically, Jeff, Darth Vader is described as being one of the most powerful Sith that, has, Sith that has ever lived. Theoretically, Vader already has an accolade on his belt, so you think, well, Vader's going to beat Revan, but we just don't have an idea of how their skills would really compare. Just because he's des described as such does not actually mean he would beat every other single Sith. Hell, there's a canon comic. Oh, I, I, was it canon? I think it was canon. Where he fought a duplicate. It wasn't actually Darth Maul, but he fought a duplicate of Darth Maul. And nearly got killed by him. Like, he did ultimately beat that, kill that clone, but he had to do it by stab running himself through the gut. And then stabbing Darth Maul through, uh, with that stab. Uh, like, he had to kind of actually go for a, a kind of a broke neck um, or a last dish ever to move to kill that clone of Darth Maul. Granted, this was Vader in his somewhat earlier formative years, but still, uh, his like his earlier run as Vader, but still, the fact is that Darth Maul, who I could guarantee you is not as strong as Darth Revan, gave him a lot of trouble. Now, I'm not saying that turn translates to a stronger, uh, to Revan just automatically being stronger than Vader, but what I'm saying is, just because you have that accolade of 
one of the strongest Sith ever. Like that doesn't mean he's the strongest. Hell, Sidious is Sidious is toted to being the strongest Sith that ever existed at that point. Now, given the amount of Sith that I am aware of up until then, that is not entirely impossible. <sighs> But that would still, it would still be contestable. We'd have to, like, do an entire Sith Roy. Ow. Uh, uh, so, ultimately, who who I think's abilities are greater? Well, let's let's break them down. Um, a lightsaber skill, skill in the Force, um, skill in the Force, so forth and so on. Let's talk about lightsaber duels. Both were exceptional duelists. Vader was such a feared lightsaber duelist uh, that he could easily overwhelm even seasoned Jedi that were remaining that he was tracking down and killing. Uh, he uh, used to be a master of the Form 5 lightsaber, which is the aggressive form, but, uh, which is, uh, uh, oh god, I'm trying to remember the names. You got, um, you got, ah. Uh, Chicho, I believe, is the original first form one. Makashi is form two. Sarisu is form three. Ataru is form four. Dimso uh, uh, or Gemso is form six, and Vapa is form seven. God, why am I forgetting Nim Nimaya? So uh, and Nimaya is, I is also Gemso as well. I believe those are two things. Oh, no, Jimso, I think, is actually the offensive form. I believe that's what it is. And Nimaya is the, uh, or Niman, or is it Nimaya or Niman, which is the Jack of All Trades Form 6 style. Anyway, um, so Vader used to be a master of Form 5, but because of his cybernetic enhancements and all, and having to adapt, he had to change it up. It's a lot more of a controlled form uh, than it used to be. It's, it seems to be like a merger of form five and two and together, which is four five is the offensive form. Form two is the duelist form. And the duelist form for a master, he, Dooku was a master of form, Makashi, form two. That, <laughs> if you're a master of form two, very few are ever going to really be able to take you on in a lightsaber fight unless they themselves are masters of the blade. Uh, and so Vader, that, that means that we never... In the canon as it is, which is we have canon to go off of a Vader, we actually don't see a lot of lightsaber duels with him in the sense of we don't see him really put that skill to work. But thanks to, thanks to the Obi-Wan series, we definitely see we see that he really he could easily overwhelm a tired Obi-Wan, or a out of practice Obi-Wan. It was still going toe to toe with a um, you know, uh or let's call it reawakened Obi-Wan. He ultimately, though, still could easily beat Obi-Wan as uh, when time went on. He's still beating Fallen Jedi. He um, was still able to beat Luke without too much difficulty, although he noted Luke's abilities were impressive. And then he lost to Luke. Luke, we know for the whole fight, was really not trying to go all out. Uh, it seems like Luke could have actually won that fight pretty easily if he really wanted to kill him. Um, and so... Yeah, Vader's skill with the saber is is very great. It is very high. Is he the greatest duelist in lightsaber history? That, that I don't believe so. But, um, uh, but he is still a master. But so is Revan. And there's, I think, a really big difference in lightsaber skill. One, Revan, as you see here, is that well wields multiple lightsabers simultaneously a lot of the time. Uh, one, uh, two, and at least one. Oh, he always has one, but he's, he usually wields two, and even wields two others simultaneously with telekinesis on the battlefield while he's attacking. Like, that is, that's something Vader does not do. Uh, beyond that, though, Vader, Revan into his hundreds was actually able to keep his body through the use of the Force. And Vader is it, Vader's body is enhanced because of the physicality, but it's also damaged. If he, he has a severe weakness that if his body is the suit is damaged, he needs the force to sustain him. Otherwise he is going to be in trouble. Revan doesn't have that issue. Revan has also spent, spent far longer on the battlefield than Vader has. Uh, and, and fought m far more opponents than Vader has, including multiple more Jedi, other Sith, 
uh, Mandalorians, the, he defeated Mandalore, the ultimate, uh, in battle, which is a testament in terms of his actual combat skill. His overall ab combat abilities, I think, just surpass Vader. He's also a brilliant military tactician, uh, as he got spent his lifetime in war. Vader isn't dumb by any stretch of the means. Vader's very intelligent, but is he a military tactician? No, he's not a Thrawn, per se. He's not a general or anything. He actually doesn't hold any official rank in the military, but because he, we, they know him to be the Emperor's right-hand man, they do what he says. Whereas Revan does. and right, So if we're going by just straight lightsaber capabilities and tactics, Revan, I think, holds that edge very... He solidifies that edge, actually. Vader's skill in lightsaber might even be... may arguably be better. Arguably. But when you combine it with his greater combat experience and the fact that he's a dual wielder as well, then he then I think you gotta give Revan the edge in that category. But in terms of raw force capabilities, that's a much different conversation. Because that's a much different well, very different conversation. Whatever that sentence structure would be. Hi, puppy. Um, she's like, oh, it's a lazy shadow day, and I just want to snuggle on the couch. Hey, yo, puppy. <laughs> uh, okay, I get comfy now. Look at my butt, everyone. This is my butt. See it? This is my butt. Um, Vader was a master of the Force. A master of the Force. And this is with a damaged body where he could not properly channel the Force into it. He is, is a, probably the most dangerous technique he had was his telekinesis. The man was so skilled in telekinesis, it was insane. We see in canon, he literally pulled a ship down from launch while it was fighting against him. And that was probably not even him going full out, full out on the ship. We see him in uh, Empire Strikes Back using Tuna Minutes, which is the energy absorption technique to absorb blaster bolts. We see him with telekinesis literally fire bits of machinery and parts of the, uh, of the room at Luke without ever moving his hands. Uh, we know he can augment himself with the Force to give him a physical edge for all time. We also know he's got the Jedi mind trick as well. Uh, he does know how the Force show all well and good. Uh, he did also have um, an ability called, I believe it was Kinetite, Kinetite, which was uh, basically kind of his version of Force lightning with static electricity because he himself could not... Um, he himself could not uh think words uh he himself could not channel force lightning through his body because of his cybernetics uh but that was that's not a that i don't believe that is canon if it is i believe it way even if it was canon there was other circumstances that allowed him to do that so no i don't believe he i don't believe he can do that in canon uh, but Vader, again, Vader is able to draw out information from other individuals through the Force, just like anyone else. Um, so his Force capabilities were extreme, and I'm I'm simplifying it. There are more, you know, minute abilities Vader has, but that is the grand, the overall gist of how powerful Vader actually was. Revan is also extremely powerful in the Force. Now, Revan in turn is described as having extremely capable telekinesis. Like I said, he was able to basically, um, uh, he was able to basically use his, uh, use his telekinesis to, uh, use three lightsabers simultaneously, one in his hand or two in his hand and like two on the battlefield. His telekinesis was, uh, so I was extremely powerful, capable, capable lifting people, uh, it's things along his line. It was ex powerful telekinesis, to say the least. But as a, uh, Sith, he was capable of using force lightning. He was a very... Uh, capable practitioner of it because he could uh, actually access the, both the light and dark side he was actually able to use the force in his purest form boosting, boosting his speed and strength allowing him to do impossible feats of acrobatics um and being a master telekinesis as i said he was able to manipulate objects in the environment and his opponents with force grip uh grip uh he could hurl a heavy stone object at a uh, moment's notice and uh, he destroyed a large archway from a great distance with just the power of his force. As a Sith Lord, he utilized the force choke on his opponents as well, violently crushing their internal organs, uh, <laughs> as well as violently crushing their inter internal organs, and battling often through lightsabers and guided them with the path of telekinesis. Um, his strong will also made him pretty much immune to the mental influence of others. Him and Darth Malak 
actually like resisted the force mani the mental manipulation of the Sith Empire itself. Like that's I don't even think Vader has that level of resistance. Uh, one of his greatest things though was as a force sensor. Like his level of sensory in the force was so great that he had the ability uh, he could actually prevent other people's connections to the force with like for uh, the far sight, force visions. Things along those lines. He has the ability to, uh, to use the Force to resist the effects of poison. Not that it would matter here. Uh, he became a protector, practitioner of Force Lightning. Um, and also capable of absorbing energy. This a, a big thing here is that he was capable of uh, using uh, the Force. Uh, sorry, he was proficient throughout his life of using it against his opponents. I'm reading this verbatim, by the way. His skill with destructive application darts were such he could summon four storms, which are basically wormholes. And uh, oh, he also became proficient in defensive techniques in order to counter both physical attacks and force powers. He's capable of absorbing and redirecting energy as he did when he absorbed uh, force lightning for his bare hands and then channeled it through his own body. Revan's uh, uh, to uh, redirect it against her and burned her to ash. Mastery of both sides of the force aided his mental uh, aided in the mental mental fracture he experienced in the foundry. One half became the force, one half became uh, the dark side. Uh, once the two halves basically merged, he more or less was able to uh, he, his whole physical form disappeared because his body had been like going for so many years that it shouldn't have been, and he basically became a spare. The dark reverend was also capable of telekinetically incapacitating uh, almost a dozen separate combatants with the light and dark side. He can hold his own against large numbers of opponents all at once. So, who wins in a fight here? Uh, because, let's be honest, Four Storms, that's not a skill Vader's ever thrown out. That's a skill Revan just straight up has over Vader. Uh, both of these guys have Tuna Minus, which allows them to steal energy. Uh, we know I know Revan was able to revitalize himself with this energy. It was uh, I read that earlier. Uh... And we know Tuna Minus can be at its highest level can be used to block you know, immense attacks like uh, like a lightsaber. We see that in the uh, fall, was it uh, old Revolt Knights of the Old Republic game uh, cinematic with uh, Darth uh, Magus. He uh, she absorbs his lightsaber with Tuna Minus to hold it back. Argu well, I don't know if he's ever demonstrated anything quite like that. We know he did it with Force Lightning, so theoretically he. Um, uh, theoretically, he uh, uh, is able to should be able to do that with uh, with a lightsaber. So, tactician wise, Malik's got the edge. If these two somehow met on the field, they would square off. Square off. They would square off. They would square off. They would definitely be. Um, they would definitely be gauging each other's strength and knowing that neither the and neither of them are to be taken lightly, and their fight would go down. And they'd probably throw out some force attacks first. Malik, or Malik, Revan would quickly go into the offensive for the physical. Vader draws his lightsaber and they're dueling it out. Vader's lightsaber is a little unique though because it is what's called a dual phase lightsaber. Therefore, he can immediately lengthen the blade to a, a much more to a longer length to overcome their, his opponent if he needs to so it's not um it's not the most it, it's a not impractical it's a very uh dangerous weapon because you're not certain exactly how what length is going to show up of but revan's senses are so keen that he'd be able to probably dodge a sudden uh you know lengthening of a lightsaber blade if he had to but vader would vader's going to get pressed hard in a physical fight with revan not just so, not just in single blade combat. Although he, I think he definitely would. Uh, but beyond that, he's going to have to be dealing with a dual blading. And again, Revan's a master of the blade, just like Vader is. But Revan has spent more time on the battlefield overall than Re Vader has. Vader, I mean, Vader and Anakin together have like a collect. And Vader's like in his fifties by the time we get to Return of the Jedi. Have spent like a collective. I think, I believe Anakin's supposed to be like 16 or 18 uh, by the time of the Attack of the Clones. So Vader has spent a collective amount of maybe 30 years between his Anakin days in the Clone Wars and his time as Vader on the battlefield. 
Revan easily tri doubles that minimum. Uh, so he's and he's fought and honestly, I'd argue uh, Revan's probably fought greater opponents because Vader really has not fought many actual like Sith. In fact, he really has, he's fought like the, the Emperor, but lost the Emperor outright. Uh, there was that like I mentioned the duplicate Maul scenario, but apart from that, he's mostly just fought Jedi. Whereas Revan's fought both, so he has experience on both sides. Uh, and so their fight's going to go down for a while. Revan is really going to be pushing Vader. Plus, he's going to be throwing his own telekinetic sabers at him. Now, Vader's own telekinesis can probably off-put that. I will say Vader's probably got the edge for telekinesis. And so even though they're for, even though they're kind of like going to match each other, Revan will start to feel the, uh, the crushing weight of Vader's power. And maybe even gets, uh, you know, pulled up into the air before uh, Revan then throws force lightning at him. To stop his uh, telekinesis. May, uh, Vader tries to absorb it. Fails to absorb all. Because we know Vader's body got completely wrecked by the Force Lightning. Um, suppose the Force Lightning. Vader maybe absorbs it. Throws his own saber. Uh, Revan just blocks him. Vader pulls it back. They go in again. Vader probably does have a physical edge. To, given his suit's parameters. That do augment his abilities. But Revan also can augment himself physically. Ultimately, if we're uh, going with like their last ditch effort, Vader maybe either tries to crush, crush him, uh, and that would probably fail because uh, Revan's probably got enough capabilities to, um, you know, to at least resist it. Uh, if this, if Revan would go for for Storm if Vader's able to survive it, if he's able to survive it, he can't. He, I think Revan at that point just comes in and just comes from behind and takes out Vader. The problem here is that, and this is the this is the argument a lot of people always make with Vader. Vader is just going to you know, testicular torture you with the Force and all this. Like, who the hell? When has he ever done that? Like hypothetically, yeah, he could do it, but and he'd be more inclined to crush internal organs than to just do t t testicular torture. It's like, dude, you can't just throw bullshit statements out. It, it, I can't remember where I saw that lot. Oh, you know what it is? I think I saw it with, uh, like, the Ujira Hanma Vader fight I saw. Uh, by the way, doing the whole Master of the... Someone argued for Ujiro, like, picking up the Force. Like, that's not how that works. Like, Vader... Ujiro hypothetically could be Force-sensitive, but that's now... Ar that is arguably throwing in just things that don't exist. That's fan ficking right there. And I... That, that, no. Um... But beyond that, it's like uh, someone said, oh, yeah, no, masters, only Masters of the Blade like Musashi Miyamoto are a threat to Vader. That's only because Vader, that's only because Miyamoto, and even then, he wasn't a true arguable threat, and that's debatable, a lot of people have for uh, Yujiro. But it's like, but that's because Musashi's not wielding a goddamn lightsaber. You can't, they, you can't compare a sword to a lightsaber in that comparison. But uh, no, it's like, you Yes, hypothetically, Vader would be like, oh, I'm going to just torque your nads, blow them up, and all that. He could do that, but so could Revan. Granted, Vader, I don't think, has any testicles left. Uh, I think they may have been burned off. It's actually never said kind of what's going on down there with Vader. It's believed they've got burned off. Uh, or at least are so damaged that they couldn't function properly. Um, but I... <sighs> The, the problem anytime anyone gives me that kind of argument is like, you're just throwing out an argument for something he could do in a scenario where, uh, in a scenario where you want him to win. But you gotta be, you have to also look at him like, as the character. You can't just throw out everything he's capable of doing theoretically. You gotta throw out what he do as, would do as a character. And Vader, for all, his, all of his darkness and anger and rage, is, by all accounts, still a guy who has honor as a fighter. Like, he will still give you the fighting chance. Now, granted, the other one series, he dragged Obi-Wan through hot coals. But to be fair, Obi-Wan left him to die in Mustafar. He assumed he was dead and he was buried. So, to be fair, Vader was getting revenge on him. And then, in their final confrontation, it was, by all accounts, an honorable fight. Like, they, they were legit fighting on fair ground. Um, so... Yeah, you can't use the you just use testicular torture on Revan. A Revan could it would sense that immediately and start to resist that, so that doesn't work anyway. Uh, even if Vader's got the stronger telekinetic capabilities, 
Revan would resist it and then just throw something else out. Revan, though, has been this uh, has been depicted as blowing up internal organs if he had to. So uh, he would he would honestly be more inclined to just destroy Vader's cybernetics uh, one by one and then go for what internal organs he could. Honestly, in a scenario where Ve Revan is being like hoisted up with telekinesis and he can't immediately stop it, he would maybe just pull the Earth out from Vader, uh, kind of disrupting Vader's stance. Vader would probably maybe catches himself. But then Revan just whoosh, throws more telekinesis at him, throws, uh, throws Saber at him to stop him. Revan, while not, I think, maybe not the overall strongest, stronger in the Force, has displayed a couple stronger abilities. Again, Force Storm is a massive ability that Vader has never done. Uh, he can utilize Force Lightning, and he is more, he is more inclined to use more torturous tactics like blowing up an internal organ or something along those lines. Add on the fact that he's certainly a superior duelist, I think, to Vader, as or at least an equal duelist to Vader. I think that's a better way to put it. He's at minimum an equal duelist to Vader, and he has just greater tactile, tactical experience and a greater, uh, just many more years of combat experience in the Force uh, and on the battlefield. I would say that Vader would definitely press his ass hard. That's a statement I just said. But definitely would press him hard. <laughs> would definitely press him in combat. Vader would give him a lot of work. But I think ultimately Revan would be the one who uh, would come out on top here. I, at least that's my belief. But this is just my opinion. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you folks next time. Have a good one.